The Academy Museum of Motion Pictures recently opened the largest museum in North America devoted to the movies and the art of filmmaking. Located in the beautiful vintage 1939 streamlined modern structure and now officially renamed the Saban Building at the corner of Wilshire and Fairfax, this is where the Academy Museum houses its permanent collection. Featuring some impressive exhibits, the museum's collection includes early motion picture cameras and projectors, animation devices, painted backdrops, production cells, models, original posters, props, and costumes. Visitors are able to trace the history of the film industry through props and memorabilia dating back more than a hundred years. Starting in the Sidney Poitier Grand Lobby and the Spielberg Family Gallery, there are large monitors with clips from commercial and avant-garde movies on display. This is part of The Stories in Cinema, the museum's core exhibition presenting the art and science of movie making across three floors of the museum. The Stories of Cinema exhibits follow the filmmaking process and the international history of motion pictures. Multiple screens of clips and stills from hundreds of films and over a hundred years of cinematic history are on display. On the second floor is Backdrop, an invisible art. Exhibited in the Heard Gallery, where you'll find a massive backdrop painting of Mount Rushmore, used in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest. There is also a temporary exhibit titled The Director's Inspiration, which focuses on director Spike Lee's achievements as well as his extensive personal collection of movie posters and other collectibles. The creative people involved in filmmaking, such as costume designers, makeup artists, animators, set builders, and editors, are all artists in their own right. An effort has been made to pay tribute to many of these overlooked and underrepresented artists. In exhibits, that expands the story of women and people of color. In the Significant Movie and Movie Makers Gallery, focuses attention on women featured in the exhibit of the film, Real Women Have Curves. And Thelma Shoemaker, a three-time Oscar winner for Best Editor and longtime collaborator of Martin Scorsese, has her career featured. In the Path to Cinema exhibition on the third floor, it explores early optical technology with examples of the development of movie images with a collection of devices that predates the motion picture camera. Such devices as peep shows, magic lanterns, zoetropes, and the cinematography, the first film camera and projector are displayed. These marvelous inventions were the first devices that created the illusion of movement. Part of the Stories of Cinema exhibits includes a large gallery focused on The Wizard of Oz. It includes Dorothy's ruby red shoes along with early character art, storyboards, and costumes are also featured. Another gallery displays costumes and makeup appliances from more recent movies along with much older items like the sled Rosebud from Citizen Kane, and the mechanical puppets used in E.T. The costumes include dresses worn by Marilyn Monroe and Emma Stone and Russell Crowe's gladiator gear. Oscar statuettes are exhibited in the Academy Awards History Gallery with 20 Oscars on display, starting with the oldest 1929's Best Cinematography Award for Sunrise to 2017's Best Adapted Screenplay Award for Moonlight. The section includes statues won by Clark Gable, Cindy Poitier, and more.
the story of Oscar Schindler to all of us, a complete, a man of complete obscurity who makes us wish and hope for. In another gallery are a series of screens with acceptance speeches from the award winners of years past. The East-West Bank Gallery presents the Oscar Experience. And the Oscar, goes the to... Oscar Experience is an interactive stage where visitors hear their name called to experience winning an Oscar, and their acceptance the speeches are videotaped in front of a cheering audience. The museum's fourth floor houses the Marilyn and Jeffrey Katzenberg Gallery, where a temporary exhibition features the animated films from director Hayat Miyazaki. Exploring the filmmaker's animated features, including original artwork, character design, storyboards, cells, and posters from this internationally renowned artist's career. One of the most delightful exhibits is on the fourth floor, featuring the Pixar Story 3D Zoetrope, a whirling carousel amusement featuring 214 maquettes that brings the movie's characters, including Buzz Lightyear, Woody, and Bullseye to life. Connected to the main building by a sky bridge is the glass and concrete Sphere Building, home to the David Geffen Theater, a state-of-the-art, thousand-seat theater attached to the north side of the Saban Building. This projection facility adds a high-tech twist to the old-fashioned movie palaces. The 12,000-ton spherical building was built to allow the building to seem to float above the ground. Housing the Geffen Theater, it rests on four base isolators, which support the sphere in the event of an earthquake to prevent any damage to the structure. An observation deck atop the sphere building provides a dramatic panorama of West Los Angeles. To create a motion picture, every art form is needed to produce the iconic images and compelling stories that make the movies such a popular entertainment. The new Academy Museum of Motion Pictures has exhibits that are fun and informative, giving people a sense of the labor and imagination that goes into filmmaking. If you love the movies, this museum deserves a visit. <laughs>